I welcome back all of you, Nana here. And then in this short video, we are going to see about the new features and future updates on any version of a Fusion uh, instance, actually. Go there and have a look at it. So uh, you will always be having one problem and that uh, uh, whenever you are logged in, fine, you know, in the space. So you wanted to know what are the new features which has come in this version. So we can even see the present version actually. Fine, click on it. Click on the right hand side name and then go to about this application at the bottom. Fine, click on the name and then go to the about this application in the, the, in the place now. It now says the 24A. So it's the 24A. So every quarter they release a version actually. Fine. Uh, January, February, March, and then uh, afterwards uh, April, May, June, like that. Fine. A, B, C. So there are four the versions are getting released every year actually. So it is now on a 24A. Now in this 24A, what is new? That you can very well see now. Right? You go to the left hand side, click on the navigator icon. In the navigator icon, you go to the enterprises, my enterprise. You go to the my enterprise and then click on the new features now, right? my enterprise. So, for which what happens, you must have the application implementation consultant role. So, if you have an application implementation consultant role, you can very well look at it now. Right? Click on the new features. So, once when you click on the new features on this one, it will not show you the new features of all the modules, all enabled offerings actually. So vision is having all, you can also say there's plenty of things for that. So you can even specifically go on and see now, fine, drop it down. I want to see only procurement. I know that I will not go to the procurement and then have a look at it. So the procurement is saying this many features are there. So in the description, it is now explaining what exactly it is going to do actually. Is it enabled actually? And then no additional setups are required. Fine, go <clears throat> Changes to changes in, fine, all these things are also coming as and when you go down. And there are some things which are even allow you to opt in actually. Fine. So create compliance checklists for purchasing documents. So we have an opt-in actually. So if you it is allow opt-in actually, fine. if you click on this icon, it will allow you to opt-in the features actually. So some features are not enabled actually. So if you want, you can even do it. And then what happens, you can even click to dial. I don't want, you can remove it also. Fine. So that way you can do it. So you can enable or disable certain opt-ins on a future actually. Fine. That is available. And then uh, you can even go down and then see plenty of things that are available on this. <coughs> and the new features. What I think you know, see, so many features are available here. And then along with it, we can even see the future updates which are going to come in the next version actually. So everything will be listed over here now, fine. Whatever is planned till now. So that also we can very well see now, mm -hmm. fine. So whatever is planned, you can very well see those future updates also. And apart from that, if you're finding it very difficult, you can even take a report and then what happens, you can even do it now. Fine. So take a report and then you can even have a look at it now. So there are plenty, fine. It will be very difficult for you to what happens, uh, go through each and everything and then you know, fine. It is available from so and so version, fine, it is enabled. And then if there is any required setups or change to fine, it will also be mentioned over here. Fine. If anything is there, it will be mentioned here, you see. Uh, uh, there are something which are mentioned over here. Uh, always enabled, fine. It, it changes in 24C, fine. This one is going to change in 24C actually. And then it is also allowing you the enabled one, fine. One is, <laughs> so this thing is, uh, so uh, what you can do is you can very well download this now. Fine. You can go to the download the report. Fine. So click on the download the report. And then there uh, you can have it in the Excel form. Fine. No download it. Fine. Open it up. And double click and then open it up. And then enable the editing. <laughs> now what I'm going to use is expand it. Fine. Uh, so it's always offering is only procurement. So we can even delete it now. Fine. So right click and then delete the one. And there is not required. So the functional area can expand it. And then uh, the features name, no fine with that. So expand it. And then uh, the description also you can expand. So you can expand it. And then afterwards, what happens? You go there. It's very difficult to read like this, no fine. So what you do is uh, you can even expand it still further now. And then uh, uh, what you can do is you can uh, basically format it actually. Fine. Select it. And then what you go there. Right click and then format the cells. There. You go to the alignment and then make it a stop now and then wrap text so that whatever will be easy for it to read actually. Like wrap text to come away. So you can now see each and every feature. So the description can be very well read actually. And then all the things, what are you saying? So it will be a ready record for you in your Excel sheet actually. Mm -hmm. So that you know, refer it very fast actually. There, uh, navigating will be somewhat difficult, but here it will be very fast to what happens to navigate. And uh, similarly, what happens, you can go there. Available features, fine. It is available from the previous versions also. Fine. The new features now. If you go to the available features, uh, the previous versions uh, features which have been come now, fine. And 23D, this has come now. This has come in 23C, fine, like this. What happens? You can now see this one. 
So, so many things, 20 D, right? So, whatever has been incorporated in the previous versions also can be seen over here. In the This also can be downloaded as a report, actually. In 21, we have it. 21 B, we have just two findings. And then what is going to come in the future, if you go to the future updates, if you click on the future updates, so this future improved uh, selection of categories within a hierarchy of item categories members. So this is going to come in 24B actually. And then it is uh, allows opt-in and find other orders. So you can then see when it is going to be enabled on 24B. So like this, 24C is going to be enabled. So all these things, each and everything on every heading, whatever they can download the report and take it for a ready reference section. So this way we can see the new features and then whatever has been implemented in the previous uh, versions in the available features, fine, you can do it for a specific module, actually. I had not taken procurement. So likewise, model wise, or you can even see the whole one also. Right. So bye for now. And we'll now see on some other video.